legs. Okay, I went to the uh, dollar store today and I asked for some pool noodles. At this time of the year, you know, it's early October at which I'm building this. Uh, all the pool noodles are put away, but uh, they had some in the back room. I asked for some. And this is what we're going to use to put over the uh, pipe so it'll build up his legs a little bit. He is going to have skinny legs. There's no doubt about that. So what I'm going to do, I can't really get this over. This is like half inch pipe in here. This stuff here is supposed to be three quarters and the outside down is about an inch. So what I'll do is I'll cut the length that I need and then I'll slice it down and I'll just put it over there and I'll put some masking tape around it. That'll just kind of like build his legs up. Uh, at this point the knees will be here. Uh, there's going to be an extension coming out and the knee will probably be able to in this area. But I want to get established this part here first. So we'll use this plant because this is tape because this is on here to keep the pants up while I've been working on this with the, uh, the glue the other day. So we've got to find out how far we need to come up in here with the uh, tool Get it over here. It's not going to be easy with these pants here. In the way. I'm hoping I'll be able to get it on there. I want it so that the coupler is exposed here because I need some room to work in here. bring this out, I can cut this in. Now when I add the extension, I'll just put more of this stuff on there. So basically we just cut it like this. That's all. With all this stuff in here, and the padding, and this here, which I didn't go all the way in to the joint, as far as his knees are going to move, you know, got a little squeaky joint here. Hopefully it doesn't break off. I really should have spent the money and put bought the eighth inch flat bar stock for the uh, the joints but it's done now and that's it so here I got to do something for a belt buckle but the belt looks pretty good on it's I would like to have had something that stood out more like a brown belt or something yeah, that's all right. and he sits up on top of this so uh, I would say that's probably about a foot high. So he's 39 inches from the base to his tip of his head. You add another 12 inches, so that's 39, 49, 50, 51 inches. So when he's sitting in the chair, he's going to be way up there. <laughs> All right, now we got it. We're going to make a three inch. This is insanity. 
coupler. So we, we put a cap on one end. And in before we put that cap in, we drill a hole in the end of this and we put an eye bolt in here. So the first thing I want to do is to cut two pieces three inches long. I've used it before, but it wasn't that hard. Blade feels sharp, though. Well, anyways, we've got two pieces. So, over here, at the joint, we're going to have a piece coming in here. After I get the cap on, and after the eye bolt, is put in. So, the first thing I want to do is to drill a hole in the middle of this to accommodate these eye bolts here, and they are 832 and an inch and 5 eighths inches long. Alright, so what this is going to do, try to get you in camera here, is this is going to go in the middle like this. Okay, and it's going to stick out a little bit, not too much, but a little bit, so that we can flex. Now, it's going to be a little tricky, because when you put this on, you give it a half turn after you push it on, a quarter turn. It's important that these here are in there this way, not this way. They got to be on the vertical so that the joint will go like this because there's a there's a number 10 screw and nut with washers that go in there so that the joint will move up and down like this. If it's this way we got problems. <laughs> you know we can't have that. So it's going to be a little tricky making sure that I put that in on the vertical. If it, for some reason I don't get it perfectly straight on the vertical, when I crank this in and, you know, I'll assemble this part and then put this in. And if for some reason it's not on the vertical, I'll take a pair of pliers and bring it on the vertical. But I'd rather have it locked in and not have to disturb it once it's locked in. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is drill the holes for this. I'll do this off camera. I'm wasting too much time on video here. Now the first thing I'm going to make up is this part here. With the glue. And uh, all right. Now, what I got here is I got a nut on here and I got a nut here. I don't have any more of that uh, Permatex black silicone, which is going to put down here to keep this from unwinding if it ever does in the future. I'm all out of it. I'm not going out to the store to spend more money. I'm going to take, when I, when I put the glue in here, I'll make sure that the glue goes down on, on the threads and the nut and it'll melt the plastic a little bit and it'll seed it. We're gonna put then we put this piece into here. And these pieces will go into into here. Down here. I don't know. You even in, I'm in camera or not. It'll be like that. I can shorten this if this is too long. I just wanted something to work with. I can cut that. So the first thing we're gonna do right now is to glue this up. 
put my useless gloves on. These aren't much good for the glue, but it's all I got. I don't want to buy those nitrile gloves because I had bad experience with things. They get dissolved, they fall apart and everything. I mean, there's so many different grades of them, I don't know what to get. Um, so. Make sure we get that really good in there. Get this. And push it on. Ah. And that's it. Now, there's no problem now because the way this is, it's okay. But when I go to put this part into the leg, this has to be on the vertical. It can't be like this. It's got to be like this, so that won't be done until this stuff sets up, and it's very wet right now, so we're going to leave that sit over here, and we'll make the next one up. Again, I got the thing in there, and here's my coupler. Put it together. All right. Now we just let it set. This stuff has got to set several hours, if not overnight, because the, the glue is still wet, as I showed you earlier in this video. Now, these are 832s, and uh, show you. These are 832s, and I'm not going to spend uh, hours and hours looking through here because I never can find the right nuts for anything I get, and I end up at the hardware store all the time anyway. So, tomorrow's Monday. I'll go and get some 832 nuts because I said I bought four of these sets here. That's fine, but I need two for here and two for the knee joint, which is going to connect to this. So it only you only get two nuts with you know one nut for each one of these eye bolts. So I'm going to have to get some 832 nuts, and I'll bring this with me just to make sure. Dorkel is going to sit. 13 and a half inches higher. If you look at this, I, I did this 10 minutes ago. Hey. So the glue is not dry yet. So we're going to let that dry overnight and we'll come back on this video tomorrow whenever I get a chance.